So this was a really good question. Thorium is attractive in the nuclear fuel cycle because it's about three times more abundant in the Earth's crust than is uranium. Now, uranium is predominantly found in the isotope uranium-238, which if it absorbs a neutron in a reactor, will become uranium-239, decaying down through neptunium into plutonium-239, which is fissile and can be used in a nuclear weapon. When it comes to thorium, it's only found in the isotope thorium-232, and when it absorbs a neutron, becoming thorium-233, it decays down through protactinium into uranium-233, which is fissile, and is a material that you can use to make a nuclear weapon again. And so you can do nuclear weapons with either, and you need to mitigate that with appropriate control in your reactor design. So if you want to take advantage of molten salt reactors where it's impossible for a nuclear meltdown, you need to have adequate controls to mitigate that. It's important. It really is.